Hi kids, welcome to the 12 Books Until Christmas series where we will read a book every day until Christmas. Today's book is called Emily Brown and Father Christmas by Cressida Cowell and Neil Layton. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Emily Brown and an old gray rabbit called Stanley. One Christmas Eve, Emily Brown and Stanley had hung up their stockings and were reading each other a story when there was a ho ho help coming from outside the window. It was Father Christmas hanging by a rope from the roof. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, cried Father Christmas. Could you possibly call the fire brigade? I can do better than that, said Emily Brown, getting out her emergency rescue machine. Stanley pushed the button to on, and together they sucked Father Christmas in through the window. Why, thank you, Emily Brown, said Father Christmas. I don't understand how this could have happened. I'm using the la very latest climbing equipment. Dropping down a chimney magically might be better, said Emily Brown. Sometimes the old ways are the best ways. A little while later, after Emily Brown and Stanley had politely pretended to be asleep while Father Christmas filled their stockings, there was another ho ho help, ho ho help. This time, it was coming from the roof. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, cried Father Christmas. I don't understand it, but my sleigh has broken down. It is the most up-to-date sleigh you can get. It has turbo what's-its and jets thingagummies. And I turned that switch there, but it went bang, and now it won't move. Flying reindeer might be better, said Emily Brown. They never break down. Yes, but that's not very modern, said Fa the Father Christmas. Sometimes the old ways are the best ways, said Emily Brown. Luckily, Stanley kept, keeps a few flying reindeers in the wild bit at the bottom of the garden just for Christmas emergencies. Emily Brown and Stanley put on their winter warmers and went down to the wild bit at the bottom of the garden to find some flying reindeers for Father Christmas's sleigh. And we have reindeer here. Thank you, Emily Brown, said Father Christmas. I really am most terribly grateful. It's no problem, said Emily Brown and Stanley, waving him goodbye. Being kind and helpful to others is what Christmas is all about. Quite a long time later, Emily Brown and Stanley were fast asleep. When they were woken up by a ho ho help, ho ho help, Emily Brown and Stanley were, were, were so very, very tired. But they opened their weary eyes and they staggered onto their sleepy feet and they put on their winter warmers and they struggled into the snow. It was Father Christmas again and he was in quite a tizzy. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, said Father Christmas. I have iPhones and Y phones and flashing screens with buttons but I find them all terribly confusing, and so far, I've only got to the end of the street. And I've got to deliver all these presents to every child in the whole entire world before tomorrow morning. What am I to do? Beep! Turn right! Turn left! Beep! You're lost. Xmas in 2.34 hours. Emily Brown looked at Stanley, and Stanley looked at Emily Brown. A Christmas day with no stockings. There were going to be some very disappointed children out there.
It was time for some firm words. Father Christmas said, "Emily Brown very sternly, there is only one way to do this, and that is by magic." Magic isn't very modern," wept Father Christmas. "I don't want to be out of date and out of touch, but some children have written asking for peace to the world and sweet dreams forever, and I can't find those in any of these catalogs. And and I, I chew." Father Christmas was getting very upset. Leave this to Stanley and me, Father Chris Father Christmas said. Emily Brown, all this trying to be modern has tired you out, and I think you're coming down with a nasty winter cold. So Emily Brown and Stanley tucked Father Christmas up with a cup of hot chocolate and some warm slippers in the chair in front of the fire. Stanley and I don't think you need to be up to date, Father Christmas," said Emily Brown. "We love you just the way you are." "Oh, that's so very kind of you," sneezed Father Christmas, gently falling asleep. "Okay, Stanley," said Emily Brown. This year, the children of the world are depending on us. Emily Brown and Stanley took out their dream catchers and they looked at their star maps, and off they flew in Father Christmas's sleigh to deliver presents to every single child in the entire whole world, even though it was way past their bedtimes. And they did it by magic because. It may be old-fashioned, but it is a lot quicker. When they got back, Father Christmas was fast asleep. So Emily Brown and Stanley very, very quietly put a few little presents in Father Christmas's stockings, which were hanging on the edge of the chair without waking him up. And then Emily Brown and Stanley went to bed. And a lovely old-fashioned star hung over Emily Brown's house that night, because being kind and being helpful to others is what Christmas is all about. The end. Thank you so much for watching, and please stay tuned for tomorrow for another book. Bye.